Welcome to the Excel database formula for beginners series. Now, if you want to get straight into the techniques, you can see links below this video. You can click straight on the next video, get straight into the techniques. But I just wanted to share some of the background motivation context for this particular video series. Because this video series, as with lots of the other series on the channel, is inspired by a real life situation. And well, two real life situations, really, because in the past few months working on Excel development projects in the real world, I've encountered the same situation twice. And it's a situation where a client is trying to manage a database, trying to get some analysis out of a database and can't quite do that. And that is creating huge complications uh, for the clients and indeed for the management of the spreadsheet. And Prior to this year, I've seen this situation so many times. So this video series is inspired by a real world situation and I'm hoping lots of people out there will be able to benefit from it. So what is this real world situation that I keep seeing time and again? Well, as I said, it's to do with databases, database management, and it's a situation where you have a database, and let's just say a generic database with gender, people's names, region people live in, people's salaries, maybe people's age, so just some generic data. And people are looking to pull out some entries from their database according to specific criteria. So for example, people might say, okay, so what is the average salary for females in this database? What's the average salary for females in a certain age range in this database? What's the average salary for females in a certain age range in a certain region? In this database. Now, those pieces of information in Excel language we call criteria. And what I've found time and again that people really struggle with is analysis involving multiple criteria. So we just, I just made up a question using three criteria there, but I find people really struggle to create this analysis in just a small amount of time, not too long, Working on these formulae, working on your Excel skills is going to save people out there a huge amount of time. Why is this so important, this issue with databases? Well, in an Excel file, a database has to be well managed. And if you can't get the analysis you want, if you're asking those multiple criteria questions and you can't get the analysis you want, people tend to do something which makes things much, much more complicated. It's not a good thing to do. People tend to split up the database. For example, think about the questions I was just asking. People might think, okay, I can't get this analysis. I'll have one database for females and one database for males. Uh, now that act of splitting up the database across multiple sheets, I would call a critical mistake really. And it's a critical mistake because it makes things so much more complicated. It makes the analysis so much more complicated, it makes the management of the spreadsheet so much more complicated too. If we could think about, for example, trying to look up a certain entry, if we want to do a VLOOKUP formula, and we've got two, three, four different databases, that's very difficult, if not impossible, to do. And actually, on one of these projects, I ended up uh, producing uh, a code based solution for this and the code was actually going through, looping through four different databases, trying to find certain entries and then producing uh, some analysis on that basis. So an incredibly complicated solution to a really complicated problem situation. But the point is, if the clients had known these database formulae, it never would have got that complicated. The structure would have been very simple, just a single database, maybe two or three sheets in the file, and things never would have got that difficult. And it just would have been a much more straightforward process. So I think, I mean, in Excel, there's so many things, so many functions, formulae, and some of them are more useful than others. Now, this particular formula, this set of formulae, I think are incredibly useful. And I think some time spent, you've got about an hour and a half's free tuition here, some time spent learning these, it's going to be a great time investment and it's going to save you loads of time and stress in the future. So this is Excel database formulae for beginners. So what are some of the techniques we're going to go through? Well, we're going to start with some simple formulae for working with databases. The count A formula can tell us 
the size of a database, how many rows are in a database. That's a basic inf piece of information that people would want to know. Then we're going to look at the COUNTIF formula. If we're thinking about a single criteria and we want to count the number of records that conform to a single criteria, COUNTIF uh, might help us. Then we're going to move on to more sophisticated formula. We're going to look at the average if formula and the sum if formula. Now these formulae are going to look at the database, perform an operation, uh, so find an average or find an aggregate, a sum, but only on specific pieces of data. So we're going to put a criteria in there and say just tell us the average for these pieces of data. Then we're going to take it further and look at the sum ifs and average ifs formula. So note that's ifs with an s on the end, so ifs, pu ifs plural. And for me, this is really where things get interesting because average ifs and some ifs allow us to answer those multiple criteria questions. So what's the average salary of, of women uh, between this age range uh, or women of a certain age in a certain area? Average ifs, some ifs, uh, these formulae are going to allow us to do that. And finally, we're going to look at two database forms which are finally D sum and D average. So these formulae, they have a different setup. We have to do some preparatory work, but they are super powerful formulae. And I find in Excel development projects in the real world, my customers absolutely love these formulae, D sum and D average. So they're the techniques we're going to go through. And as I said, um, there's so much to learn in Excel, but I find in my experience, you know, you don't need to know all of it you actually need to know a subset of skills that can deliver um, value that's disproportionate to the amount of time that you put in so these skills super useful going to help you to manage a database properly so i'm chris from tiger spreadsheet solutions this is the excel database formally for beginners series i hope you'll join me in the first video